Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I had a few comments of people asking about some stuff on this monitor. And as you guys all know, today, being January 15th of 2019, NVIDIA's GeForce graphics driver came out, which is version 417.71, which enables FreeSync monitors to enable G-Sync. Now, I know if anybody like myself, you guys follow CES, they're showing only 12 monitors are G-Sync compatible. But that doesn't mean necessarily that your monitor will not handle G-Sync. So, this video that I did before on this 34-inch, the new MSI monitor, actually is FreeSync. And before, as you guys can see probably right here, I'll show you. Right there in that right corner. Go ahead and zoom in right there. It says right now, FreeSync is on. As you guys see, 115. I'm running it at 3440 by 1440. FreeSync's on. It's on RTS mode. Display, display cable is being used. So, what does that mean? How am I able to use, if anybody's used a turned on FreeSync on their with an NVIDIA card, which you guys all know, I have the 1080 Ti in mine, so I want to make sure that I'm using the right stuff. So I'll go ahead and show you exactly what it looks like. Once you have that driver, you're going to go into the NVIDIA control panel. You're going to go down, it's automatic, as soon as you turn on FreeSync, you're going to be able, this screen's going to pop up, set up for G-Sync, and the enable G-Sync button will be there. So let me go ahead and zoom in on that so you guys can see that. So one good thing about this is that because it is G it is a FreeSync monitor and the new update enables G-Sync, it allows you to go through, just click on the G-Sync button. I have it right now enabled for windowed and full screen mode. You'll then scroll down right here to input uh, specific settings, enable settings and select the display mode. So now this monitor is being read as a G-Sync monitor. So if you then go back up to your 3D settings, you'll be able to scroll down on here. And if you guys can see right there, monitor technology, G-Sync capable. And as you guys saw earlier, this is a free sync monitor. Can you tell a difference? Of course you can. If anybody's ever played on a G-Sync monitor, you'll know that G-Sync technology is slightly better in my opinion, to FreeSync, but now that it doesn't matter, NVIDIA is going to make a buttload of money. More people will be more inclined to buy their graphics cards since they are superior to AMD, in my opinion, of course. But at the same time, you can go ahead and build out these budget builds where you can buy a FreeSync monitor and still be able to have an NVIDIA graphics card and it run great. I've actually been playing, so as soon as I got home today, from work I went ahead and took care of it I turned on black ops looked at it it looked great it was a little bit choppy before only because of the fact that you know it's just it's trying to run it around 115 to 125 is what I normally get with my settings and it, it looks fine but having that g-sync to where it actually comes and enables that back end tearing and even just a little bit of the resolution that it can take care of because it's not trying to render those back ends look Phenomenal. Another reason to buy this monitor. So, yeah. I'll put a link down in the description below for this monitor. If you guys haven't checked out the video when I did the review on this monitor, I'll go ahead and put it up and somewhere up here. So, yeah, take a look at that. But another big thing that I know a lot of people were asking is, does, how do you know? What, is it, what does it look like? So, let's go ahead and just open up a game right here. So, we will open up on here. Just open up some, some Blackout. I've been playing some Black Ops for a while, so we can go ahead and get that done. And if you guys have any questions about anything on my setup, if you guys take a look at those videos I have down that I've made based on one of the desks, the setup, any of these monitors that I have, uh, as you guys know, this is a VA panel, and it looks great with the G-Sync. It really, really helps. Now, it doesn't really matter. I could care less. Free seat monitor, like I said, I've overclocked it right now to 115. So 115 hertz at 3440 by 1440. Unless you're running a 1080 Ti or 
2080 or 2080 Ti, you're not going to be getting anything over with at ultra settings. You're not going to get anything over 120, maybe 130 on most of these games. So it's one thing to look at. Uh, another thing that some people were asking about on this actual setup for G-Sync is, is there not all monitors are the same. So you might have, like in my case, I have, well, obviously this monitor, and then I also have a 4K 27-inch IPS monitor up there. Now that is FreeSync, but does it work well? Not really. If any of you guys saw the videos, anything from CES of them talking about G-Sync and FreeSync and what G-Sync was gonna do with FreeSync, then one thing NVIDIA did say is that they not all FreeSync monitors are the same. So it doesn't look, you might get a FreeSync monitor, I have nothing, no blinking, no nothing, no flashing, all of a sudden the colors change, no, as you guys can see, the colors are very vibrant, nothing's different, no changes in the back in the atmosphere on what it looks like, as you guys can see. Now, one thing that I have noticed on here, though, is that, one, because that the way FreeSync works, it, it tells whatever frequency that your graphics card is putting out to then output to your monitor and so this time right now as you guys can see and that I don't know if you guys can see that right here but in my I have the the actual loadout capped at around 50, around 60 so it sits there at 60 so the range of FreeSync is usually if you have a good FreeSync monitor it's usually around 45 to 85 but in this case on mine this is where it comes in where you I really don't know what it is but me getting around a hundred I definitely am seeing it just be better so that's one great thing with this I, I am really enjoying it let's just go ahead and open up some theater and just use Doja right here let's see just so you guys can see what it looks like all right so I apologize that it's not loading up that qu that quick on here, but just want to give you guys a quick overview and let you guys see what it looks like. But if you guys, again, if you guys have questions about what it looks like, you know, it, can you tell a difference or anything like that, I'm not seeing anything different with it. I am just seeing it's all better. So this monitor, like I said, I picked it up on a sale for $379. Right now it's going for $100 more. Doesn't mean it won't go back on sale, but still for the what you get with this monitor for even $479 is now there's no reason to go spend $1,000 unless you truly want G-Sync and feel that the free sync is not working for you. As you see, proof that I'm not having any of those flashing issues, no audio issues, no crashing on my screen because it's not running in the you know the proper resolution. I'll show you right here. It is running at 3440 by 1440 at 115 hertz because like I said, I was able to overclock the monitor to 115. So as you guys see right here, the game's loading up. There's nothing. I mean, it's... I'm telling you, it is very, very smooth, and it just it just feels and looks great. Now that it has G-Sync, I know those lower frequencies I'm not going to have an issue with. So, like right now, it looks like I'm getting around 90 to 100, dip it down into the high 80s. So it looks like, let's see, when the match comes, and I can show you where it's at. So right now, technically, I'm a little, I'm above the range of FreeSync, but it doesn't mean that with what G-Sync does, it enables it to where it's smooth all the way up to the cap frequency of your monitor. So my monitor right now, it's showing that I'm at 103 going forward and it's fine. So, I mean, no smoothness as you guys can see, everything's fine, it looks fine. I don't see any, no issues, it looks great. And there you go. It's really smooth, nothing, just butter. Just like a G-Sync monitor, or if you had an AMD card and you were using FreeSync. So, for all those people out there that really want to see that, you know, <laughs> that's crazy that I've got two kills and just camping. Anyways, if you like what you saw on the monitor, if you got any questions about the switching over from G-Sync to FreeSync or enabling G-Sync on a FreeSync monitor, let me know down in the comments. 
And if you like with the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I make videos every week. And as always, I'm Hyper for Tech. And until next time.